Today, I describe my house to you and then you describe your house to me. Remember to read after me, to listen to your own voice. Okay, it's very important. Where do you live? I live in an apartment. In a small town. On the sixth floor of the building. My apartment is below George Clooney's apartment. He's a wonderful neighbor. This is the front door. There is a wreath on the front door. There is a yellow wreath on the front door. And also a mat. There is a mat. In the apartment, there is a living room and a dining room. There is a shelf on the wall in the entrance hall. There is a hall stand with the mirror and hooks in the entrance hall. There is a balcony. There are plants on the balcony. There are three sofas in the living room. There are pictures on the wall. And there is a coffee table in front of the three-seater sofa. Now describe this place for me. Where are the things? What do you see? For example, I see a three-seater sofa, two armchairs. The sofa is between the armchairs. There is a coffee table in front of the sofa. There is a, a mat in front, on the floor in front of the sofa. There are plants around and there is a lamp hanging from the ceiling over the mat and there are some white curtains as well. There is a chandelier hanging from the ceiling in the dining room right above the table. There are purple chairs and patterned curtains. It's a very beautiful dining room. What do you see? What are the things? Okay, I see a big rectangular table with um, eight chairs around this table, two lamps hanging from the ceiling above the table, a brown table, and three uh, pots on the table. In the bathroom, my favorite place, there is a shower behind the bathtub. There is a vase on the sink with yellow flowers. There is a heated towel rack under the TV and the mirror on the wall. There is a white bathrobe on a hanger on the wall. And there is an adjustable shower head nozzle. I love my bathroom. Let's describe this bathroom here. There is a walk-in shower with the adjustable shower head nozzles. 
then we have next to the shower a toilet and there is a shelf above the toilet on the wall with some white towels then we have the bathroom sink with a, a tap or a faucet and on the wall above the bathroom sink we have a mirror between two lamps on the wall there are also two drawers under the sink and some cupboards in the bedroom there is a double bed with some duvets and some pillows on it there is a lamp on the nightstand and also some pictures on the wall above the, the double bed there is a closet in the bedroom and a dresser next to it next to the closet what do you see in this bedroom okay there is a sliding door then we have a double bed in the middle of the room of the bedroom with uh, some pillows on the bed and some sheets of course there is also a tray with a, a teapot and a cup and saucer and some sugar on the bed yeah there are two nightstands next to the bed uh, and two lamps hanging from the ceiling right above the right above the nightstands there is a big carpet under the bed there are some cushions on the counter by the window and there is a heater under the counter by the window and there is a gray curtain it's a beautiful bedroom the kitchen it is a built-in kitchen with cupboards on the walls a sink a cooker and a counter next to the cooker there are some bowls on top of the cupboards and a vase on the corner between the cooker and the sink what do you see in this kitchen yeah it's a built-in kitchen with some cupboards then we see a microwave oven a mixer on on the microwave oven a coffee maker a toaster next to the coffee maker then an electric kettle next to the toaster then a stove next to the electric kettle with an oven under it then a case cutlery then a faucet and then a bowl on the corner in between the bowl and the faucet we have a sponge then we have the dishwasher under the microwave oven some drawers next to the dishwasher it's a very beautiful kitchen and the tiles on the wall are brown let's describe the place together from left to right there is a shelf by the wall then there is a, a small rectangular table and uh, there is a picture leaning on the wall on the table 
and there are two pots with plants on the table and there is a briefcase under the table. Then we have a side table with a lamp on it and a three-seater sofa next to the side table. There are some cushions on the sofa and there is a beautiful cat on the sofa. There are two pictures on the wall above the sofa and there is a plant in the pot next to the sofa. And then there is a coffee table in front of the sofa and finally we have two lamps hanging from the ceiling. Okay, let's practice together. Yes, what do you see? From the left to the right, uh, there is a door with blinds in front of a white bathtub. Next to the bathtub, there is a sliding door separating the bath area from the bedroom. Then in the bedroom, we have um, some, we have two French doors and curtains. There is a double bed in the middle of the bedroom with a very beautiful rug under the bed and an armchair. Let's practice more asking and answering questions about where your things are. And what are your blankets? My blankets are... are in a wooden trunk. Where are your blankets? In a wooden trunk or in a wardrobe? Do you have a single bed or a triple floor bunk bed? I have a double bed. Where are your pillows? My pillows are on my bed. Where are your lamps? My lamps are on the nightstand beside my bed. Where is your sofa? I have a sofa in the living room and there is also a sofa in my office. Do you have cushions? What are your cushions? I have cushions and uh, I have cushions on the sofa, in the living room and on my bed, in my bedroom. Do you have a coffee table? I don't have a coffee table. Do you have chairs? What are your chairs? Uh, there are some chairs in my kitchen and also there are some chairs in the dining room and some chairs in the office. What are your carpets, mats or rugs? Okay, I have a mat in the front door, in front of the front door. I have a mat in the bathroom, I have a mat in the kitchen. I have a carpet in the living room. I have a carpet in the dining room and I have a big carpet, really the biggest, in my bedroom and in my office. And I have some rugs uh, near the hall and on the corridor. Do you have pictures? What are your pictures? I don't have pictures on any counter. Uh, my pictures are on the walls, in the living room, uh, on the walls of the hall, on the walls of the corridor, um, in the office, Mia, even in the kitchen I have some pictures. 
Practice more free conversation. Ask questions. Describe your place and ask questions. For example, are there bedrooms? How many bedrooms are there in your house? Are there bathrooms in your house? Inside your house? Is there a kitchen? Is there a big kitchen in your house? Is there a living room? Is there a big living room in your house? Is there a, a dining room? Is there a hall? Yeah. Where is your couch? What are your pictures? Where is your lamp? What are your lamps? Where is your table? What are your chairs? Okay. Practice. Describe your place. I describe my place and then you describe your place. Write down in the comment section if you will. I'm very curious about it. So this is my apartment. I live in a small apartment. There is one living room. There is one kitchen. There is one bathroom. There is one bedroom and there is one balcony. In the living room, there is a three-seater sofa. There are some cushions on the sofa. There is an armchair. There are three pictures on the wall above the sofa. Uh, and there is a coffee table in front of the sofa and on a white rug. And there are two plants next to the sofa. I mean, the sofa is between two pots of plants. In the kitchen, there is a small rectangular table. Well, um, there is a vase with flowers on the table. There are four chairs uh, by the table. And there are some pictures on the wall above the table. There are some cupboards on the right and the kitchen sink. Yes. Uh, in front of the kitchen, there is a small corridor. And then we, uh, there is the bathroom, a small bathroom. Next to the bathroom, there is the bedroom. There is a double bed. Uh, and there is a big white carpet under the double bed. In front of the, the bed, there is a counter with a, a, a pot with flowers on it and some plants next to to eat and then there is the balcony uh, with uh, plants on each corner and there is a round table a small round table and three chairs around it it's a very comfortable and nice apartment now tell me about yours I'm curious about it and thank you very much indeed for watching if you liked just click on the like button and subscribe for more content see you next video bye